I first met him, I was kind of intimidated by him um, because he was opinionated. You know, a guy who, who um, reminds me of him that I've worked with is Marshall Falk in terms of all-time great, always has tons of irons in the fire, has tons of opinions, will definitely go back at you, and is also just a great person to get to know and is, you know, frequently the smartest guy in the room. And uh, he would he would let you know if you said something. I, I would make a, you know, a point, you know, in a conversation with him, and he would basically tell me, you're, you, you know what you're talking about. You know, and, and it would be kind of difficult for me to, to take that, but I, I didn't take – I could see just, like, he kind of liked the back and forth. You know, he kind of digged it, John. He did. He, and, you know, every city we would go into, there would be somebody uh, who would want to stop by the booth before the game to say hello. Uh, you know, movie actors, uh, politicians, you know, TV stars, you know, you name it. Yeah. Uh, the one I always remember kind of fondly was uh, Spike Lee, the, the great director. Sure. And, uh, walked into the booth at Fenway Park before a game. And uh, he had come out with a movie a few months before that I thought was a great movie called, uh, was I think it was called Inside Man. Did you ever see that with uh, Denzel Washington? Sure, of and, course. Uh, I think Clive Owen, the British guy. Yes. And uh, so great movie, and there's a little mystery to it and, and tension and drama <laughs> and whatnot. And uh, so Joe introduces me to Spike Lee. I'd never met him, and uh, and I tell him how much I enjoyed that movie. And then uh, and then Joe starts grilling him about how come you haven't uh, started that uh, Jackie Robinson movie yet. And uh, and Spike Lee is very defensive. He's like, well, I I can't get uh, the funding for it. Uh, the, the people are not. Uh, stepping up and uh, and Joe says, well, maybe you're not trying hard enough. Maybe maybe I should go with you the next time and uh, you talk to these people. And I mean, he's, <laughs> he's I love it. Them the, you know, the, like he's uh, like as, as if Spike Lee works for Joe. You know, <laughs> like, let me tell you, I know all about the movie business, and you're not trying hard enough. You know, whatever. And uh, so he goes through that thing, and Spike Lee's, you know, kind of getting exasperated trying to explain to him that right. uh, I tried these people, I tried. Those people and they just didn't come through with the money. And uh, what can you do? You got to get the money to, to make a project like that to do it right. And nobody wants to do it more than me. He says, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, Another thing, I liked your movie Inside Man or whatever it was called. He says, uh, But you made a mistake when uh, when this happened and that happened. And uh, don't think I don't I didn't notice that. You know. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's Joe Morgan, right? That is such a great story, John. 